So David, tell us a bit about the research you do. Hi. Um, we try and interpret uh, geophysical observations of the Earth and the planets in terms of the mineral physics, the properties of the minerals and the rocks which occur in the Earth's interior. Because we don't have any access to the Earth's interior even, let alone the other planets. So all we can do is we can maybe do experiments or numerical simulations to measure the properties or predict the properties of the minerals and interpret the geophysical observations in terms of those mineral properties to understand what's happening in terms of processing the material. Mm -hmm. So we're in a lab here, what kind of experiments do you run? Is it just experiments you do? Okay, so this is a multi anvil lab, this is a multi anvil press here, uh, and in a multi anvil press we can generate pressures up to about a quarter of a million atmospheres pressure. That's equivalent to about 700 kilometers depth in the earth, so that just gets us into the lower mantle. And we can uh, generate temperatures up to about 2,000 degrees C. We can measure various physical properties in this lab. And for the properties that we can't measure here, we go to uh, synchrotrons, which are extremely high energy sources of X-rays. But as well as doing that, we have a large group who do uh, numerical models. So they actually solve the crystal structure and the physical properties from first principles using um, uh, quantum mechanics. Okay, and I'm a planetary scientist, so my question is, do you just do all this work on Earth, or are there other applications throughout the solar system? That's a really good question. If you want to understand why the Earth is so unique, why we have life, why we have plate tectonics, you really have to put it in the context of the other planets. So we have a very large group who also work on the other planets. Okay, so we're looking at the interior of Mercury, uh, we're mapping the surface geology of Mars and the Moon, and we have a large group who look at the physical properties of ice because that's very important for the icy satellites of Jupiter and Saturn. Okay, so you get all this data from the experiment, from observation and from modeling. What do you do with all this data? They go on to inform our seismic observations uh, and we also use them as inputs into geodynamical modeling. So we have a group who uh, models, for instance, the way that the mantle flows. And if you want to do that, you need to know the viscosity. So we have strong interactions between the simulations, the experiments, and the numerical uh, dynamical modeling of the Earth. And to test those models, of course, you have to ultimately have to go back to the geophysics. So we have another group who looks at seismology and does uh, studies of the solid Earth geophysics.